in this video, I am going to give you a brief introduction about MATLAB software. I already opened my MATLAB software in my PC. It is just like this. Here I am using MATLAB R2018 B version. There are different types of versions R2018 A, R2019 A, R2019 B and etc etc. I am using R2018 B. In MATLAB software we have mainly three parts. First one command window, workspace, current folder. Let's discuss one by one. Coming to command window, we write our commands in command window. Let's write the simple command x equal to 5 and enter. I just assigned the value 5 to the variable x. Like this we can write our commands in command window. Coming to workspace, workspace stores the variables those are created or generated during the program just now i created the variable x in the command window and it is stored or shown up in the workspace let's create an another variable y equal to 6 enter you can see here y is created the value assigned is 6 coming to current folder we can access the files those are stored in our pc from the current folder suppose i stored a matlab file in my pc and i just want to access the file from the matlab i can access from current folder it is the home folder which was in my PC. The home folder contains a subfolder that is student. Click on that one. And the student folder contains these many folders. You can access all of them. I will go to desktop and it was sent to. These files are in my PC. I can access them. Just observe here. I just gave space y equal to 6 here, but I didn't give any space at x equal to 5. It means giving space doesn't make any sense, any difference. If you want to decrease the space between these, just type the command format compact. Enter. Let's type the same command again x equal to 5 enter you can see the difference here there is no space between these two lines here we have space if you want space again just type format use enter and type the command x equal to 5 again we got the space we are using our commands again and again so here we need a thing that remembers our works so matlab has that facility too that is command window history just click the up arrow of your laptop 
you can see the commands which we wrote up to now execute file format loose format compact format loose expire clear all these commands let's undock dock it here of course it mingle with the matlab it is called docking it is command history whatever the commands we write in the command and window those are stored in the command history if we double click on any one of these instructions that will be executed in the command window let's see the clc and clear commands let's type the clc the expansion of clc is clear command window which means it clears the command window enter it's gone the commands which we wrote up to now are vanished if we execute the command clear which clears the workspace enter the workspace is gone the variables and their memory and the values stored in the variables will be vanished suppose we have created a variable x equal to 5 and we just clear the command window the variable is stored but in the workspace the variable x didn't lose the value of 5 when we type or when we use the variable x it shows the value of 5 because it is stored when we type the command clear it clears the workspace which means it vanishes the all variables which we created up to now This is about MATLAB and its uh, simple commands. Thank you.